Hi, I'm Corn C, and today I'm playing Omega, a uh, a slice of roguelike retro gaming, which is going back uh, a long, long way. If you check the uh, the date here, 1987. 1987, this game was first uh, first made. I first played it in 1993, and it was considered old back then. It's uh, one of these probably second generation roguelikes, uh, like NetHack and Moria and Angband, and I was actually asked to play this game by a viewer, so let's give it a go. I should point out before we start, it is entirely text-based. It is these sort of text-based graphics all the way through, and it's also entirely keyboard-based, and there's no, no musical sound, so the only thing you're going to hear is my voice, and I'm only going to use the mouse to, uh, to show what's happening, so we'll just move it up out of there for now. Okay, one of the uh, one of the things that's notable about Amiga, uh, it's different to the other ones, uh, is that you can actually uh, create a character based on yourself. So I'm going to do that and uh, try to answer the following questions honestly. No, no, I'm definitely not. Um, I'm going to be incredibly optimistic. Uh, let's see, I can bench 80 kilos, so maybe once, maybe once, I could bench 100. That's about 100 kilos, I think. Uh, yes, the highest I've ever got, 140. Uh, yes, I did, I went to uni. Um, well, I wasn't the top 2%, um, but I was top 5. So we'll call it 97, let's be optimistic again. Uh, no, I did not. Can I dance? Yes, I can. Uh -huh, that's a good question. No, I can't dance well. Yes, I did. Uh, no, I did. I went for about. <laughs> I didn't go for long enough to get that. That's that good. Do I play some field ball? Well, I'm a good cyclist. Yes. Do you cave, mountaineer, etc.? No, never done any of that. Do I skate or ski? I can ski, and I'm okay skier. Well, okay, well, I'm on a K-ski. I'm going to be optimistic. Yes, I can ski well. Am I handicapped? No. Yes. <laughs> Am I accident prone? No. Can I use a bicycle? Yes. Do you play video games? Yes. High school? No, 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 no. I do not get high scores. Yes, I know how to do that. Uh, mm, you know, I, I'm going to be optimistic again. Yes. Have I ever picked a lock? Nope. What's your typing speed? I have no idea. I don't even know what a good typing speed is. Alright, I'm just going to put 60. Hand shaking. Nope. Uh, no, I'm not ambidextrous. <laughs> Definitely not. Yes, I think I probably could. I've never tried, but I don't see why I couldn't. Uh, well, yes, of course I get colds. Uh, no, not frequently. Nope. 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 Take a robots class. Will I run? Yeah, why not? How many miles can I run? Uh, well, I run six miles. That's too much trouble. If I ran slowly, I could probably run twelve. And no, they do not. <laughs> no, nope, never seen an aura. Never had an out of body appearance. Never cast a spell. Definitely don't have SP. PK. I don't even know what PK is, so I'm assuming I don't have it. No, I don't believe in ghosts. Am I Irish? I think I'm about 164th Irish. No, I think that counts as no. Uh, males or females? Females. Okay. So uh, now it comes up with a little bit of text about what you're doing that ends you up in this game. So basically you're programming. Remember <laughs> the old uh, Unix system? I actually played this. I originally played this on Unix. I'm currently playing it on my PC. Um, someone managed to get a PC version running, but back in back in the day... I played this on Unix. Um, la la la. This was my favorite. I played NetHack and Moria and Angband. My friends really liked Angband and Moria, but I was really, uh, I was really keen on um, on this game, mainly because it felt most like a role-playing game to me. In that there was a bit more than dungeon crawling. There was various quests and levels. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't know what any of that means, so, yeah. 
there are various quests and levels, uh, and sorry, there wasn't just a dungeon crawl. Okay, so let's see what it's got me as. Strength, strength 12. Oh, that's pretty average. Constitution 16, intelligence 15. Okay, so I'm apt, <laughs> power 3. <laughs> power 3. Th so I'll read that. These are hit points down here. How many times you can be hit. Uh, mana, how much sort of magic power you've got. How, this is gold, AU, gold. This is my level, zero. How much I can carry. I'm not carrying anything at the moment, but I can carry up to 1500. Then strength, constitution, dexterity, agility, intelligence, and power. And where we are. We're currently starting in the beginning town, which is Rampart. And this is my hit, my damage, my defense, my armor, and my speed. So I'm starting off pretty bad. Nothing special in any way. So the other thing to realize about these old roguelikes is they are incredibly hard. The, rum, the random number generator will just kill you for the hell of it all the time. There's often nothing you can do. You're just going to die. Um, probably 60% of the time, quite quickly. So we'll see how far I get, or 20 minutes, whichever comes first, probably my death. Um, and it's my death, it's my personal death, because I'm playing myself. Actually, why don't we start with renaming my character uh, to Gordon C, because that's me. I shall be known as Gordon C, yes, from to now till the day I die, which will probably be in a few hours of game time, because it's currently midday. So the first thing you've got to do is uh, join various guilds so you can become various character classes. There's, there's the standard ones, there's uh, wizard, uh, thief, uh, mercenary, uh, gladiator, paladin, um, various uh, clerics. Uh, none of those are really going to work well for me. What I really want to do is get into the uh, wizard's guild, but at 15, with an intelligence of 15 it's going to cost me a thousand gold to do that. And with only 250, I'm not going to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make 250 gold. And the easiest way of doing that, I'm, for, for reference, I'm this little at symbol. These, uh, these hashes are walls or towns. These little uh, dashes here, they're uh, doors. This, this is an open door. This is a shut door. This is, this is trees. Um, blues water. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I happen to know where it is, oh and the G here, the red G here, that's a guard. I'm definitely not going to do that. To attack someone you just run into them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the Paladins uh, Guild House uh, because they take pretty much, oh no I won't, they won't let me in yet because I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be too neutral. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I played this game is what 93 a lot and it's probably partially responsible for my very very bad grades that year uh, and then I found it again a few years ago I played it a couple of times and I played it once uh, just to remind myself of all the keys so I reminded myself where all the buildings are and so this I know is the hospice where I'm going to make a one gold donation yeah you yeah you'll take it you'll take it one gold donation and that will make me Slightly lawful, because at the moment you don't actually know. You don't actually know what your alignment is. It won't tell you. So you start entirely neutral, and then you can veer towards chaos or law, depending on uh, on how you act. And so giving one goal makes me slightly lawful, and you need to be slightly lawful to be a member of the Paladin Guild. And this one below me is Paladin Guild, so I'm just going to walk in. The headquarters of the Order of Paladins, and we take anyone who's anyone who's lawful, and they're quite they're quite good to you. Whereas the, the other good ones are the magicians, but they cost a thousand if you're not uh, if you haven't got intelligence eighteen. The thieves guild is really cool, but once again they cost a thousand if you don't have uh, dexterity eighteen. And my dexterity and agility are way too low; they they'll charge me probably probably more than a thousand. Um, various others. I could join the, this is the castle over here, this is the big castle here. Um, you need to be famous, you need to have a few levels in you before you can join them. Then here's the gladiators arena. Um, there's actually not a huge benefit to joining them. Who else is there? Sorcerers Guild. Uh, I don't actually know how to join. Well, I think you have to pray at the appropriate 
uh, stature, but I've never really managed to I properly identify a stature at the early stage. It's always come later. What else is there? I'm hmm, I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up because we're going to start with the paladins. Yes, we want to join the paladins. Welcome to the order, and they and they give me a horse and a spear. Okay, and the other thing about Amiga, probably one of the reasons it didn't do so well, and not many people remember it anymore, is it has a. Uh, if I'm going to be if I'm going to be polite, I'll call it an unusual inventory system. And so right now, this my spear is up in the air, and if I don't put it somewhere, then I'll just drop it. And I don't want to drop it, so I have to put it somewhere. So I'm going to put it in my weapon hand, and hopefully my my hit and damage over here will jump much higher. Yep. Oh, whoa, whoa, 22, 25, much, much better. So now I'm a now I'm a pretty good fighter actually, even though I've got no levels and no strength. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. So you have to to move things around. So if I wanted to move something from from my belt to my hand so I can use it, then I'd have to shift things around. It's a bit of a weird system. So let's escape out of that. Okay, so now I can fight. There, I'd need to. My goal, my immediate goal, is to make a thousand gold, so I can become a magician. Right. So, how can I do that? Well, I'm going to start by fighting a few times in the arena, and then I suppose I'll go into the dungeons. Uh, the other thing you can do is go to the archdruid, and the archdruid will just just for saying hello, will give you a whole load of well, not money. But he'll give you a whole load of uh, experience points, which can help you in money if you go into the dungeons. There's actually, I'll just go up here to show you. Up in here, up in this area here, is called the Trifford Maze. And in there is entrance to the sewers, which is essentially a dungeon. And also the Oracle, who tells you good things to do. So I'm probably not even strong enough to go into the Trifford Maze, um, Trifford Maze yet, which is the most basic thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter the uh, into the arena for a little bit first. So I'm going to not register as a gladiator. I can do that later. I'm going to just enter the games. So first up, Ebenezer the pencil neck geek, who's going to get hammered. He here he is here. He's just sitting there. He's not doing anything. I'm just going to run up to him and bang, bang him. Dead, dead. <laughs> and then press G to pick stuff up. No, I don't want the corpse. Yes, I want the red button. Put it into my ready hand. Then press capital A to use an item, which is an I for item, A for item A, and then you can get out. So it's a bit, it's a bit awkward uh, with the keyboard. It's not exactly streamlined keys, and that was probably one of the reasons it didn't do so well. So five, and I've also got down here one experience point. So we're going to keep doing this. Uh, until we get to people. Oh, and the other. You're about to see another reason these games perhaps are a bit annoying. Oh. No, you're not, because I killed the Hornet the first time. But the other thing is, attacking is basically just a lot of pressing space. The more will come up in your space, and you hit space, and you hit space, and eventually someone dies, and that's it. Uh, no. Yes. Into slot A. Escape. Activate. Item A. Done. You end up doing a lot of that. 25, and I've got two experience points. I think I can go up to the grunt safely. I think beyond the grunt is a problem. I'm not sure, because my, my hit and damage is so high, I might be able to go a little bit beyond the grunt. Or maybe that will kill me. I'm just a bit unlucky. Yes, a... So activate A and there we go. Okay, so what are we up to? A goblin. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can do the goblin. Yep, and I've got a level of experience. Good. How much money have I got? Oh, let's, 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 we have to get out first. No, don't pick up that. Yes, pick up that. Pick it up. Why isn't it picking it up? Yep, okay. Uh, a, escape. I, A, activate, and we can run out. Blah, 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 blah. 
Yeah, there's a pretty much a standard way to get started to get the money to get going in this game, which is a bit bit samey. All right, so this is the last one I'm going to do because I think beyond this is one that is a bit tougher, and there's a chance I might die with a random number random number generator, the RNG gods. So at the moment, all I do is I just yep, I'm just uh, basically walking into them over and over again, and that attacks them. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, yes, A, out of that A. So, use that. Okay, so that's all that's safe. I could possibly, I could probably, probably I could get the next one as well. But, maybe not, maybe not. And uh, I don't want to die quite that quickly. I'll try being a bit safer first. So, what we'll do now is we'll try going. You can see I've got 474 gold, which is still not enough. I need a thousand. So I'll go into the into the maze. Uh, there we go. Into the maze and try and find the oracle and the entrance to the sewer. But I won't go into the sewer yet. So being since I'm a paladin and I want to stay a paladin. Uh, I have to be have to be lawful, which means I'm not allowed to kill anything which doesn't attack me first. So what is this? You can, to find out what things are, you can press X and then move to it and press dot, and it'll tell you what it is. So it's a sheep. So as a paladin, I am not going to attack that sheep, which is a problem because it's blocking my way. Go away, sheep. Maybe I can talk to the sheep. Talk to the sheep. Greet the sheep. <laughs> so it gives me an academic paper to tell me that it can't talk to me. Yes, very good. Okay. There is a bit of there's a bit of humor in this game. Because it makes it good because you die so often. Let's oh the sneak thief attacked me. I think he's stolen something from me. What could he have stolen from me? I got him. Wow. I was expecting that to be the end of the episode. So now I'm just exploring this maze. You just can't scratch. Oh no, it's a sensation trap. My horse falls apart. My horse, my horse, my horse is gone. And I died. There you go. <laughs> How long did I last? 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Uh, the iron, the uh, random number generator gods have cursed me. That is um, sadly immensely common in this game. You just walk onto a trap and that's it. You're dead. Boom. Gone. So, yes. Um, yeah, so I didn't get to show you the Oracle. I didn't get to show you, I didn't get to leave town and show you all the countryside you can roam around in. I didn't get to show you any magic. I didn't get to show you uh, the sewers uh, or the Oracle or anything because I just died because I walked into a trap. And, it's, and the thing is, it's completely random. So next time I play, that trap will not be in the same place. In fact, it, it, the whole maze, the whole Trifford maze, will look completely different. All the all the levels of all the sewers and the dungeons um, will all look completely different. Um, so it will just be just be down to luck again. Which, uh, yeah, if you like the game, if you like the look of the game, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll play it a second time. And hopefully I'll last longer. It's probably at 19 minutes a bit too quick to uh, start. I'll start again playing my my useless low strength, low agility self. Yes. <laughs> no wonder the old roguelikes. There we go. Cordon C, 13 points. Killed by disintegration. Not only me, but also my horse. My horse also got disintegrated. And then I got disintegrated without being able to do a thing. 
C to continue, which will probably shut it down the uh, shut down the screen. So goodbye.